As we gather on this Thursday morning of the fifth week of Lent, let us begin as always with a sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord, the Lord remembers his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham, and by his oath, to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know Him, but I know Him. And if I should say that I do not know Him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know Him, and I keep His word. Abraham, your father, Rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, 
You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to draw our attention this morning to the first stanza of our responsorial psalm. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. During this pandemic crisis, when we are all stretched to the limit, and when we are all feeling stressed and anxious, we can look to the Lord for strength to persevere during these difficult times. We are also asked to seek to serve him constantly. I would like to focus on the word constantly. We are not told to seek and serve the Lord occasionally, only when it fits into our schedule, only when it is easy, and only when we feel like it, we are asked to seek to serve him constantly. And one of the best ways we can serve the Lord is in the manner in which we serve one another. And I know at this point I must sound like a broken record, but during these difficult days, the best way we can show our love for God and to serve God is the love and service we show to one another. So on this Thursday of the fifth week of Lent, let us make a concerted effort, a conscious decision to serve the Lord by serving one another. Do some small act of kindness for someone. Offer up a word of encouragement. Make a sacrifice. Let us not put ourselves first, but let us think about the needs of another. It could be a sibling, it could be a parent, it could be a spouse, it could be a co-worker going through a difficult time, worried about an uncertain future as to whether or not they will still be employed. It could be a family member, it could be a neighbor who is struggling. Let us reach out to them. Obviously with social distancing, we have to keep our distance during this time, but there are so many different ways we can reach out to one another either through Facebook, YouTube, texting, emails, phone calls, or simply writing a card to someone to let them know that they are not forgotten, that they are being thought about. So this day, let us make a concerted effort, a conscious decision to do an act of kindness for someone in some form or fashion, because when we are kind and compassionate to one another, then I am confident that we are serving the Lord and serving Him constantly. Having listened to the Word of God, let us now place our needs before our Heavenly Father. Let us pray this day for Pope Francis, Bishop John, all bishops, priests, religious and missionaries and deacons and the people that have been called to lead and serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders and all those entrusted with the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering with life-threatening, life-debilitating, chronic or terminal illnesses, and for their families, that they be given the faith and the strength to endure. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people battling any form of addiction, that they will come to find peace and healing in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those undergoing surgeries today, 
that God will guide the doctors and nurses to bring them the physical healing that they seek and that their patients will have a full and speedy recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unemployed and the underemployed, that they will find strength during these difficult times and that it will be the love of God and the love of family and friends that will sustain them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those mourning the death of loved ones, that in their grief they will come to find peace and consolation and find their hope in the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, let us offer up our own petitions. For the petitions, prayers, and needs we hold deep within our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers of your family before you, those spoken and those which we hold in the silence of our hearts. If it be your will, grant answers to our petitions. Open our eyes and our hearts to see how we can help bring these petitions to fulfillment. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless each of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank Thanks you. Be to God.